Hey there folks and welcome to another video in which we'll show you how to upgrade your laptop. This time we'll be looking at one of the most sought after gaming laptops on the market, the Acer Nitro 5. Almost two years ago this was actually the laptop that started the English language content on our channel and made me realize that I'm actually the professor from La Casa de Papel. But enough of me getting sentimental and back to the Nitro 5. Acer has finally listened to us and put some AMD goodness into these laptops. Nice. In our case we have the Nitro 5 with an AMD Ryzen 5800H and an Nvidia RTX 3060 here. A pretty formidable machine for gaming and video rendering. All the upgrade steps should be applicable to other AMD Nvidia combos though. So don't worry if your version is slightly different. To get access to the Nitro 5's innards you can use a normal Phillips head screwdriver. A spudger or guitar pick to pry it open is also a good idea. Good news first, the Acer Nitro 5 is as upgradable as its predecessors, meaning you can upgrade the RAM, the M2 SSD and also put in a 2.5 inch SATA SSD or HDD. Acer is nice enough to include a cable to hook up the SATA SSD. If you want to upgrade the RAM, make sure to get DDR4 RAM in the SO DIMM form factor that has at least a frequency of 3200 MHz. For an M2 SSD you can get a model with a PCIe connector and a 202080 size. Just be sure to not accidentally get an M2 size SATA SSD. We put some recommendations for compatible RAM, M2 SSDs and SATA SSDs in the description down below. Of course you could also connect an HDD, but we're in the year 2021, so just don't, unless you really need that cheap but slow storage space. Anyway, let's get to the juicy part of our little operation here. The most important thing first, turn your Nitro 5 off by shutting it down in Windows. Also unplug the power cord. Seems super obvious, but a lot of people simply close their laptops and then open them up. Spoiler alert, that's not the best idea if you want to live a long and healthy life. Almost as important, ground yourself by touching a metal structure in your home. Now that we're grounded and the laptop's off and separated from its charger, we can finally loosen the 11 screws. By the way, better put your nitro on something so you don't get any scratches into the top cover. After loosening the screws, we can pry the laptop open with the spudger or some Dracula-like fingernails, whichever you prefer. If you hear that frightening cracking sound, that's just the tiny plastic hooks that are keeping the laptop together snapping out of place. So you're on the right track. After we carefully got the cover off, let's take a little tour of the inside first. Acer once again has opted for a neat and clean design that gives you a lot of upgrade possibilities. You can even put in a second M2 SSD and turn the Nitro 5 into a storage monster. Before we get to that, let us start with the easiest upgrade, which is putting in some DDR4 RAM. Simply pull these tiny levers here to the side and take out the existing RAM stick. Replace it with the one you've bought, press it down gently and you're done. Super simple, right? The second M2 slot for a convenient upgrade of quick PCIe storage is a little bit trickier to find as it is hidden to the right of the RAM slot. First, loosen this tiny screw to the right here and put it to the side. Now take out your new 202080 sized PCIe SSD. Slide it into the connector from an angle and press it down gently as well. Now tighten it with the screw that you took out before. Of course, you can also replace the existing M2 SSD in the Nitro 5. It sits to the left of the RAM slots and can be replaced the exact same way as the aforementioned. Now to the fiddliest part of this upgrade, putting in a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. Your Nitro 5 should have come with the so-called HDD upgrade cable. If the cable wasn't included, then go to this website and check for spare parts or talk directly to the Acer customer support. There should also be additional screws included with the Nitro 5. Once we got the cable and screws, we take out this aluminum casing here by removing those four screws. Once you got it out, take the tiny screws that came in the package of the laptop and use them to fasten your SSD in the casing. Put the upgrade cable into the SATA connector of your 2.5 inch SSD and fasten the SSD into the 2.5 inch bay. Just make sure that you place the cable the right way so it points towards this white lever here. Open the lever, put the other end of the upgrade cable into it and you're done. Now you have a beast of a laptop with plenty of storage and RAM. You could actually also replace the Wi-Fi card here if the need ever arises or get a new battery as the one in the Acer laptop is not glued in. So all in all we have a pretty good repairability here. Now just put the back cover back on, press it down till you hear the hook snapping in place and then put the screws back in. And that's it! We successfully upgraded the Acer Nitro 5 with extra RAM, an additional M2 SSD and a SATA SSD as well. I for one really enjoyed it and hope you did as well. If there are any questions still lingering on your mind about this upgrade or the Nitro 5 in general, simply leave a comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like or subscribe to our channel. We'll surely be back with more English language content for you, so stick around and have a good one.